Hi there, I'm Linda Murray. I'm an executive coach, facilitator and director at Athena Leadership Academy. We all know leaders with executive presence stand out, right? They are someone who can enter a room and they've really got that X factor that stops and makes people pay attention to them, even though they're not asking for it. So as an executive coach, I've been fortunate enough to work with leaders who have this presence and it's really inspiring. I became quite obsessed with working out what it is they do that gives them that presence or that special source, if you like. And over the years observing executives with or without presence, I've noticed some key characteristics that differentiate those who have great presence. In this quick video, I'm going to cover four key characteristics of executive presence to really focus on and in the coming months to enhance your leadership and executive presence. So the first one is composure. Leaders and executives that can manage composure in any situation, you know, when nothing just seems to ruffle their feathers, they've got great presence. People will generally flock to them because they can trust their reaction no matter what they need help with or the situation that they're in, whether it's good or bad. So I believe some of this is because people with leadership and executive presence have high levels of EQ or emotional intelligence, enough to moderate their own emotions and to really recognize and read what others are feeling. So over the coming months, pay attention to how you react and how you manage your emotions. Know what triggers you and when you need to have yourself on a slightly tighter leash, if you like. Know when you're not at your best and keep an eye out for those situations. Similarly, notice how this plays out for others and how you can help them. Some clients even keep a journal and reflect at the end of each day just to keep learning about themselves and growing day in, day out. The second characteristics that executives with great presence have is they're always prepared. So it's much easier to maintain our composure when we're prepared. It gives you that feeling of confidence that you'll be able to handle anything that's thrown at you. And leaders and executives with presence are well prepared, but they also refuse to allow themselves to be pressured to provide an answer when they don't feel informed. If you watch closely, they allow themselves to pause before answering, giving themselves time to really think. And they're also not afraid to say that they don't know an answer, but they'll always explain how they're going to find one. The third characteristic is they're clear with communication. I often quote George Bernard Shaw when he said, the biggest single problem in communication is the illusion that it's taken place. Lots of us go into too much detail, trying to cover everything that anyone might ask us. We think we've conveyed a clear message, but what we've done is we've actually blurred it. People with executive presence are always great communicators, and in fact, they make it seem like it's easy. They focus on using simple, straightforward statements to make their point. Detail can come later if it's needed. The fourth characteristic is they're really engaged. When you watch someone with real presence, you'll notice how they include everyone in the conversation. It might be with a direct comment or question, but they always make eye contact with everyone. And this is how they gauge the responses or the level of understanding that they're getting from the room. It's also how they influence people because it makes people feel valued. It wins trust and inspires and it makes people feel more loyal. And of course, it's always easier to pay attention to someone who pays attention to you. So you'll notice that presence is all about being present. Amy Cuddy puts it beautifully when she says, presence with others is firstly about showing up, literally, physically showing up. She also says, when you become present, you allow others to be present. Presence doesn't make you dominant in an alpha sense. It allows you to hear other people and for them to feel heard. At the heart of it, presence shows you care. The good news is that you can develop and leverage these four key characteristics of leadership and executive presence. It's important to invest in yourself so that you can really lead and inspire people around you to create a better workplace and culture. So do you need to strengthen your presence? 
Don't sit and envy the presence of others. Let's work together to give you the confidence and skills that you need to build your own presence. So please contact me at my email address, which is lynda at athenaleadership.com.au and let's get started. In the meantime, I'd love to hear your stories of people with presence and how they change the world around you. So please share them with me in the comments below.